I think the feeling of this year could be captured in one word, exhaustion, across the board. <laughs> teachers this year and, and it's not about those that lost. I hope they know that they've done a great job. But I mentioned the teachers that are losing just to emphasize how difficult these last few years have been. Um, you know, I, I always hear them say that I'm so tired and I get that. Uh, I'm, I'm as tired as they come, I'm in it every day. You know, I, I want to kind of go into this just a bit. At the beginning of the year, we're at student government camp, and the theme was chosen. I was a little surprised, but the theme that was chosen was live. Live. So what do you do with that? And yet, as I got thinking more and more about it, there is no thing this year that made any more sense than, than live. So again, it, this poem is uh, to live, and it was inspired by this year's theme. Uh, so what does it mean, and how do you define a familiar phrase to live? Is it in the beating heart of a newborn child as it comes forth from the womb? Or is it in the final confirmation of a warrior's determination in the body's final breath before it enters the tomb? We can learn from a life defined as a life we all once lived by watching a child hold the hand of a friend as a single peaceful day slowly comes to an end or the living with the knowledge of a life so long ago, as you close your eyes and remember some of the seeds your hands did sow. Can you live with the knowledge that living is not free because we pay the price that all must pay because Adam picked from the tree? To live in this world, we must understand that it's hard to resist temptation. So you hit your knees and pray to God to offer intervention. We must cry for attention and hope God answers the call. And if there's no answer, you may not have lived at all. You see, to grow and live as a teenager and see the judgment and the danger for the first time in the life you live. And this leads to the shock and the horror of an innocent life no more when you learn what people truly mean in the definition of the poor. All of this leads to an innocent ending of a heart that might need mending with a new covenant of how you will live. To live with a quiet determination and a brand new confirmation in supporting a better world. Now I can define to live in this my golden age as I turn each golden page, I'm still learning how to live. I see the pinprick of light down the golden road I travel, and I hope my judgment at the end of life will be proved at the ending of the gav pounding of the gavel. The life I live is precisely rewarded by what I was able to give, and maybe that's how I shall define what it truly means to live. And this class, when we talk about living, 
it is the seed you are going to sow. And if there was ever a time to give, it is now. bigger than, than just us here at Harriman, and our students truly do recognize that. So again, I expect our students to continue. Uh, I believe in speaking out. I believe in advocacy. And I hope this senior class, a, as you go forward, you do advocate you find those messages that you have near and dear to your heart and i'm not going to go into politics because i really don't care which side what i do expect is when you find a passion when you see what's really important to you that you're not just sitting on your thumb that you're standing up you're, you're going to speak your voice it's going to mean something to you and you're going to advocate for, for that belief and not just sit idly by and let the world pass you by. Um, I, I hope, I hope you will do that. That's the challenge going forward. Everybody that tells you that the only thing you learn in high school is math, science, and English and other subjects, that's a lie. I think in high school you learn to advocate you find yourself, you find your beliefs. You do listen to your parents and what you've been taught. But as you grow and mature, you've, you've learned what's important to you. As you go to college, you look for those social issues and, and those social injustices. And I hope you learned that in high school. And then if you picked up a little math, science, and English along the way, that's a bonus. There's a lot more to high school than just sitting in class. And now go forward. Start your advocacy. It starts today. All of our students get to the center of the basketball court or the football field. They get down, and I hope they do it tonight. And they start chanting, there ain't no party like a Mustang party, hoorah. Hoorah, say what? There ain't no party like a Mustang party. Hoorah, hoorah, say what? And it gets louder, and it sounds like thunder, and it's exciting, it's unifying, it's powerful. Say what? Get up, get out there and say. Take what you've learned here and say it. Say it loud and say it proud. Because there ain't no party like a Mustang party. I'll never forget. I'm proud of what you've accomplished. We will make you proud of Harriman High School and what you've learned here. Say what? Say whatever you need to say to get ahead in this life and to take care of those around you. That's what you say. Not good luck. Get it done. All right. All right, ready? And then 